How does a $50 pair of headphones compare to a $150 pair of headphones? Let's find out in this video. What's up guys, it's Zach Raccoon back with another video and I've actually gotten a fair few requests to compare the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro Mark IIs to the Behringer BH770s, which are two headphones that I do have, and the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros are my main pair of headphones that I use for this channel. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Behringer BH770s cost $50, while the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro Mark IIs cost about 150 Australian dollars. Now, I actually got mine for $130 since they were on special, but usually they do float around that 150 Australian dollar price tag. So let's begin with build quality and design. So if it isn't obvious enough, just by looking at the Behringer BH770s, and 70s, they are basically a replica of the Bayer Dynamic DT770s. Everything about them is very similar to the DT770s in terms of build quality and design. And definitely the best part of the Behringer BH770s is their build quality and design. Their build quality is very strong and sturdy, they are made mostly out of metal with a little bit of plastic reinforcement in some areas and they have nice soft foam that feels very comfortable on the ears. And I gotta say, they are really comfortable. They have a nice light weight to them, they don't push too hard on your head and yeah, they just give a nice open feel when wearing these headphones. And the cord these headphones has is a nice braided cord and I think it's about two or two and a half meters long, something like that. And yeah, it's a nice cable. And these headphones also come with an adapter from a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is what they have standard on the cable, to the quarter inch jack that goes into interfaces. These headphones have a nice solid adjustability to them when you do adjust the arms on here like this. It's a nice solid click and it stays in that spot. And I gotta say that is one of my favorite parts of these headphones that it just stays where you want it and it doesn't adjust by itself if you accidentally nudge it or something like that. And also I really like that the cable isn't coiled because I'm not a massive fan of coiled cables as they put a fair bit more weight on the cable and you can feel it on your head when they are sitting on your head. So yeah, that is one thing I'm not a massive fan of with the Sennheisers. So let's move on to the build quality and design of the Sennheisers. So the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros Mark II are basically the same design as the Mark I's, just they have some slight differences in terms of padding. Other than that, they are fully plastic, so no metal really but the plastic that they use is extremely strong and sturdy and they feel just as strong as the Behringer's, if not stronger, because the Behringer's do have some slight flimsiness to their ear cups mounted onto the metal arms that actually adjust over your head. They do feel a little bit more flimsy than the Sennheiser, surprisingly, even though they are made mostly out of metal. So yeah, just because a pair of headphones is made out of plastic doesn't mean that it'll feel cheap or flimsy. Now the foam you get on these is really nice, soft, comfortable, and it just molds around the ear perfectly. After about half a year of use, these things feel so amazing on my head, and yeah, they just fit me absolutely perfectly. But I will say for the first two weeks, they really did press against my head quite a bit, and I found that they were slightly uncomfortable after several hours of use. But after about three to four weeks, they are really, really comfortable, and I've found no problems with comfortability with them at all. And the adjustments on these headphones are pretty good, not as good as the Behringer's though, because when they click in place, it's more of a soft muted click, and they can quite easily move out of their spot. So that is one thing to keep in mind. If that does annoy you, that might put you off these headphones a little bit. And as for the cable, the cable is a nice, relatively long cable. It's about a meter long, but it can extend to about a meter and a half because it is coiled. And I don't really like the coiled cable on these because it is pretty heavy compared to other coils even. So it's definitely one of the more heavier coils and so that does kind of annoy me a bit but I still really like these headphones. And on the end you have a 3.5 millimeter jack which comes in the box with an adapter to the quarter inch jack. And one cool thing that these headphones also do is that they fold up pretty nicely as well, a lot more compact than the Behringer BH770s. So let's move on to the sound of these headphones. So the Behringer BH770s do have a pretty tinny sound. In my review of them, I did say that they sound pretty good and they have a nice crystal clear sound to them, but after a while I realized that this crystal clear sound is a little over the top and a bit tinny as well. So that is one thing to keep in mind, that these sound a lot worse than the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. The Sennheiser HD 280 Pros have a very, very balanced sound. 
they're not over the top on the highs, mids, or lows. While with the Behringer BH770s, they're very over-exaggerated in the high end, and the mid and lows are pretty quiet, especially the lows. They're not very loud in the bass department. They do sound good on crystal clear songs, and they honestly sound pretty decent in everything. They're not terrible, but they're definitely not good for mixing audio and stuff like that. But after using these headphones for a while, you can quite easily get used to the sound, and they don't sound bad at all. And the comfortability of these headphones is really what sells them for the $50 price tag. They have a fantastic comfortability and really, really good build quality for 50 bucks, but their sound quality is slightly disappointing. So in conclusion, which one should you get? Well, this video wasn't really to tell you which one you should get. If you do have $150 lying around, ready to buy a pair of headphones, then the Sennheisers will be the better option, obviously. But if you're on a tight budget, this video was more to tell you, basically, is there a massive difference between these two headphones in sound? And if I'm being honest, there is a pretty major difference, but it's not that major to the point where I think that the Behringer's are absolute garbage, because they're not. They actually sound pretty decent. Some YouTubers will say these sound terrible, but I disagree with them because I've used these for a while and they're perfectly bearable for my ears, and I think they sound still relatively decent for the price especially. So hopefully this video did help you out in some way, shape or form. If it did, drop a like on the video. If it didn't, drop a dislike on the video. Leave a comment below letting me know any other products you'd like me to review, some sort of budget-friendly products that you would like me to review or maybe compare with some of the products that you've seen on this channel, and I'd be happy to do so. And with all that out the way, I'll catch you guys in the next video.